What's going on, everybody? Today is May 30th, 2024. Whew. It's already, what, 72 out, and it is 5 in the morning. All right, I got a little, uh, what would you call it, a little uh, surprise today. So today... Wi-Fi connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, today what we're going to be doing is well first of all oh, i hope all of you had a great uh, memorial day weekend i hope uh, you guys all got out there and had a little fun got outside and also remembered what the weekend was about um anyway so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna meet up with uh, a friend that's, uh that subscribed uh we went fishing with him before over near biolab road mosquito lagoon and he outfished me so game on we'll see if today we can outfish him no it's all fun but we'll see and uh, then we're also going to be meeting up with fishing with critter who also has a youtube i'll put the link over here with fishing with critter so if you like that kayak fishing content definitely check them out so that's what we're going to do today we're going to meet up with a friend with with two friends and we're all going to be fishing an area we have not fished yet um, this is going to be in the Cocoa Beach area, Thousand Islands, or is it 10,000 Islands? I'm not sure, but there's thousands of islands. So there's a lot of flats um, on the maps. It looks like there's a lot of um, uh, little areas with seagrass, possibly even some oyster beds around. Um, and then I did find a couple deep holes around the area. So when we get there, you know, Thousand Islands, the, the boat ramp, you can either go head north or you can head south. You head more south, you're gonna have more of the flats and the islands and the mangroves. If you go north, you have a little bit of the mangroves and a little bit of uh, deeper channels as that goes around a lot of um, homes that are on the water. So you have a lot of docks and piers and things like that. So not sure which way we're thinking about going. I think either way today is gonna be a good day. So anyway, I'm gonna try to keep my rant short. I'll save it for the end. So, yeah, I got the lights working on the trailer. I was right. This time, it was just a blown fuse. So, you know, when I touched the, that four-prong thing backwards and I saw that spark, I was right. It was a fuse. So, and that's why I told you guys, getting one of those little uh, trailer connector things that test your lights it, it saves you a lot of time chasing your tail trying to figure out if it's wiring or whatnot you know the first step is just figure out make sure the car's putting out the right power before you mess with the trailer which we did and it was the car this time last time it wasn't anyway everybody we got a little bit of a drive and uh yeah and then we gotta get set up and everything so i'll catch you over there guys it's gonna be a good day see you over there Look at this beautiful morning. Maybe we can get something over here.
they spooked off, unfortunately. Warm enough fast it's just not my day fishing slow for all three of us but uh, I think critter got a couple small reds uh, a little snapper and then uh, my other buddy he got a pretty good sized red too that pulled him in the mangroves and broke him off I've had two really big hits but I've missed them so I've caught lots of mangrove trees lots of lots of stumps lots of leaves I've spent more time tying gear today than I have fishing. But, you know, that's how it is sometimes. But this spot looks like it's got a lot of good potential. So, it's just hot. It's getting hot real quick. So, we'll still see what we can get done here in the next like two, three hours. We'll probably give it another two hours, see if we can't get us something. Even a small fish at this point, I'll settle for. So, Anyway, we're gonna try and change locations here. Has a nice small little ramp here for kayaks and a larger one for boats over there. So, get them all loaded up here. Big fat skunk -a -rooski for me, but hey, beautiful day. Couldn't get much better than that. <coughs> well, 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 everybody. Unfortunately, I could not get on the fish. We had a couple good hits, a couple good chases, but just no bueno. Just wasn't happening today. You know, but that's how it is sometimes when you go to a new spot. You just, you know, you're more so out there exploring. I was definitely working the mangroves and losing a lot of stuff to those mangroves because the water temps right now they're like 85 86 degrees and that makes fishing really really hard this time of year so a lot of the fish that I did find they were either on the move or they were really tucked up in there underneath those mangroves so the only hits and the only uh, chases I got were getting casting it underneath there and when you're casting underneath mangroves, expect to lose stuff in those branches. So, um, yeah, I spent a lot of times, a lot of time today tying on new stuff and uh, all that. But um, fishing with Critter, he did get on to a couple really small reds and then, uh, you know, a small mangrove. But nothing really to write home about. And then uh, my, our, our other friend... He did hook into a really nice, he thinks it was a really big redfish. And again, tossing it right up into those mangroves. But uh, unfortunately, it took him into those mangroves and then broke off his line. So heartbreaker for sure. So there is fish to be caught in there. It is slow, you know, when the water is getting this temperature, summertime fishing can be really hit or miss. So. Uh, the last couple kayaking trips, I just have not really been able to get on it. And uh, so we're definitely due. I thought today was for sure the day. I worked the top water early in the morning when everything was, you know, crystal clear. And I didn't even get a blow. Oh, no, I did get one wake that was, so I, there was a fish chasing my top water at one point, but couldn't get him to bite. And then, uh, you know, I did see a couple of snook and a couple of redfish cruising the, the shoreline but they just were not interested in anything that I could throw at them. So all in all though, got to explore a new spot. This spot's got a lot of potential. There's lots of area to, areas to fish. I just, 
it'll probably be a little bit better when the waters are a little bit cooler but uh you can't go wrong with beautiful weather it is beautiful out there at thousand islands you can almost forget you're even at coco beach you know because it doesn't look anything like coco beach it is very beautiful back there but you can't go wrong with beautiful weather you know great outdoors and really good company so shout out to my buddies that met up with me today and went fishing um it was a slow day for all of us so it makes me feel a little bit better but at least they still hooked into some fish some little trout and stuff like that i got the big skunk skunkarooski today so my day is coming everybody it's just a lot harder right now with the temps the way they are to to get a lot of fishing in so we're gonna need to figure something out you know those early morning trips are really or late at night which i can't really do late at night right now but maybe we can try and squeeze in some late night trips uh on occasion but uh yeah even in the morning though i just did not have any luck so but anyway everybody again sorry it wasn't a bunch of fishing action you know me i'm gonna post the video regardless even if i don't get nothing because ultimately as you guys know out there you get days like this and uh it's nothing to be discouraged about that's fishing you should be out there and enjoying it you know i got some exercise i got some sun i got to hang out with friends so pretty epic day fishing uh, catching a fish would have been a bonus all right everybody enough jibber jabber let's get out of here and uh see what we can plan for the next trip stay tuned for the next one everybody tight lines peace